Hi, this is Lucas, and this is day 14 of the Nexus One. Well, it's been about two weeks now, and uh, what I'm going to show you this afternoon is basically uh, what I would think would be the best features, mostly pertaining to the Android operating system, and then a couple of cool apps that you must have for the Nexus One. So, diving right in, looking at um, one of the features for the Nexus One is a part of the Android operating system and it is found in the about phone battery use. Now what I find about this that I absolutely love is statistics. If you love statistics you love knowing where all your resources are going so you can see here that on my phone I'm spending most of my battery life in my display. From there it's maps the live wallpaper, the actual operating system, standby mode, phone idle, and Wi-Fi. So you can see here that this is pretty nice to see, okay, well maybe I want to disable the live wallpapers. Well, I can get 7% of my battery life back. One of the things I am finding about this is the Nexus One is lasting a little less than 24 hours a day um, battery life and it's getting heavy use so you can sort of take that as you will okay uh, after I got through looking at the uh, battery use we want to take a look at one of the other features it's in the settings as well uh, location and security one of the things about this phone is it's really easy to lock it has a button on the top you just click to lock or you can choose to use their screen unlock pattern now this is pretty neat I'll just give you a display so we want to turn that feature on. Now what it's going to ask us to do here is to draw a pattern. Easy enough. I'm going to draw this right here. Bam. So it says pattern recorded. It says continue. I'll continue. It says draw it again. I'm going to draw it again. And then confirm. And now my phone is locked to a pattern set. So now in order to even get back into my phone I have to draw the pattern and once I do that you can see it it opens and we'll go back to that feature and look at it I want to change it one of the things about the pattern is you can pretty much do whatever you want there is several ways to connect all the dots for example I can go across go across here and draw something like that I can uh, just make a big mess something I probably would not never remember or you can do something really simple something like that so the only minimum is you have to have at least four circles connected and that's pretty much it I, I think this is a cool feature I've, I've used it several times but I it's always in my hand I don't have any fear of losing it at this point so I'm just gonna back out and we're going to remove the pattern very well. Okay. Now the third feature I want to speak about is actually an application for the phone that works in integration with uh, Google Maps. It's simply called Car Home. Now it came pre-installed on my on my phone, but one of the features uh, it's that you can find it in the Android market. And some of the features include uh, ability for it to act just like a GPS navigation system that being said I'll just go right into the navigation it's going to locate me on a map and I want to go let's say to my father's house today so I'm going to type in Harry this is his name Harry Schaefer and it went straight to my contacts and put it in my quick list There we are. Click done, click go. Now here's a list of all the turns and I want to navigate. So then it starts me off. Now here's my little it says please do not use this while driving. I think every G GPS navigation says that. And here we are. We're off. Now the 
I saw this in a commercial uh, online and they actually showed a dock for this to go on the car just like a GPS just like your Magellan or your TomTom -Tom would sit attached to the window Set it's wireless as you can see uh, most of them require wires and most of them don't uh, but you can see that feature is there and it's available for you pretty neat stuff a last feature <clears throat> I really enjoy impressing people with my uh, multilingual skills. So the Google Translate uh, app that is available for obviously the Nexus One makes things really interesting. For example, let's say I'm in uh, Italy and I want to find ask someone where can I find a cup of coffee. So use the um, microphone here and say where can I find a cup of coffee one more time where can I find a cup of coffee and it says there and it automatically translates it into Italian now I can play it play it back Dove posso trovare una tazza di caffè? now it sounds a little electronic but I could actually play that for someone who spoke only Italian and they could understand. Now if I'm in um, Mexico, in Cancun, I can switch that over to Spanish and also play it in Spanish. Donde puedo encontrar una taza de café? Now that's pretty neat. I don't know how much international traveling you do or what could uh, possibly be the uh, use for this but you could uh, you can see that that is a very powerful tool uh, you can pretty much communicate in any language from what I understand you can flip this around and do um, let's see French into English say I'm in France and somebody is saying something to me I just simply put my phone up to them and say please um, speak into this and then have it translate into English for me so day 14 only a few features that I wanted to talk about here uh, two weeks in I'm ecstatic about the phone the phone is a great phone it is my first touch screen so that is a, a big deal for me um, and that's it thank you